Martha, let's take a look live at our Fox News headquarters in Midtown Manhattan. You can see on our ticker the names of the fallen or going by as a sense of remembrance and for us here to honor each of those people who were killed. And to many of those who died on this day were their mothers and fathers who left children behind. Gerald Paskins, Horace Robert Passanity. It was two years after 9-11 when 10-year-old Caitlin Levy stood before the grieving families at Ground Zero and spoke from her heart. And my dad, Firefighter Lieutenant Joseph Gerard Levy, we miss you and love you. Her father, 45-year-old FDNY Lieutenant Joseph Levy, was one of the 343 firefighters killed that day as he led Manhattan's Ladder 15 up the stairs of the World Trade Center South Tower, reaching the impact zone on the 78th floor. Coroner, we're on 78, but we're in the beef stand. We're trapped in here. We got to uh, put some fire out to get to you. <laughs> Before the building collapsed. It's just so admirable to hear how it must have just been a very scary situation, and yet there was just so much calm and collectiveness, and um, and that's just the man who my dad was. He just was a beam of light, and he was a leader. Caitlin says that day is seared in her memory. She remembers her turning home from school to find her mom and concerned neighbors. It wasn't until a few days later, and my mom, you know, was calling hospitals and, you know, looking for him, and she said, I, um, you know, I think he's not coming home. Caitlin is now 30 years old and has found strength and renewal in the charity Tuesday's Children, named for that September Tuesday that took the lives of thousands of parents. Please welcome from Tuesday's Children. The charity brings together those who lost a loved one as a result of terrorism by sponsoring volunteer programs, offering counseling, mentoring, and organizing trips to sporting events. They've given us incredible opportunities for mentorship, um, job interviews. They've had LinkedIn events, and really they mean a lot to me and my family. This has given us a lot of hope. It's given me a lot of hope. They gave me resources to deal with, you know, this tragedy in ways that I probably wouldn't have been able to without it. Yeah! How important is that bond? I mean, you share a very special bond yeah. with those like you, whether it's a military family or 9-11. How special is that? I mean, it's incredible for for someone to you know who have gone has gone through the same thing as me, and um, you know, be able to just sit down and talk about it, and not have to explain myself. It's it's so important. Tuesday's Children was created three months after 9/11, and is still growing today. Terry Sears is the executive director. At the heart of what we do, it's about mentoring. It's about filling in as much as you can for that loved one lost. The magic is that this is long term. This is not something that's a couple years. It's really something that continues to evolve. Throughout the years, Caitlin has not only been helped by Tuesday's children, but gives back by volunteering for the group. That was my way of healing, was helping others. And Tuesday's children offer this program where a group of us went to New Orleans and we were in Musicians Village in doing work with Habitat for Humanity, building houses. Since its founding, Tuesday's Children has expanded to also offer support and comfort to children of military service members who have given the ultimate sacrifice. 20 years later, we have 9-11 surviving spouses mentoring Gold Star kids. So they're giving back in ways that you never could have imagined. Tuesday's children are, are not children anymore. They're adults. Yeah. What do they leave for their children? It's so inspiring to see how, you know, everyone has a piece of them within them and how they carry on their legacy, you know, whether it be through their career or through a hobby or, you know, becoming parents of their own. Um, it's just so beautiful. 9-11 was a day that was awful and there was unspeakable pain, but there was so much beauty that came out of it. And the spirit and the resiliency from 9-12 and being able to honor all the men and women who passed away and all the heroic acts of the rescue and recovery workers and the civilians who, who stepped in and um, be able to educate the younger generation on that and saying, you know, this is something we came through and it was, an, it was a awful and a 
really difficult day, but there was so much light that came out of it. Well, some police and firefighter offspring are following their fallen parents into New York's finest and New York's bravest, the police and fire department here, as others enlist in our armed forces. For more, you can go to TuesdaysChildren.org. You know, it is a very special charity.